The doors were locked where the disciples were for fear of the Jews. Jesus came and stood in their midst and said to them, Peace be with you. When they, he had said this, he showed them his hands and his side. The disciples rejoiced when they saw the Lord. Jesus said to them, Peace be with you. As the Father has sent me, so I send you. And when he had said this, he breathed on them and said to them, Receive the Holy Spirit, whose sins you forgive are forgiven them, and whose sins you retain are retained. Thomas, called Didymus, one of the twelve, was not with them when Jesus came. So the other disciples said to him, We have seen the Lord. But he said to them, Unless I see the mark of the nails in his hands and put my finger into the nails, nail marks and put my hand into his side, I will not believe. Now a week later, his disciples were again inside and Thomas was with them. Jesus came, although the doors were locked, and stood in their midst and said, Peace be with you. And then he said to Thomas, Put your finger here and see my hands, and bring your hand and put it into my side, and do not be unbelieving, but believe. Thomas answered and said to him, My Lord and my God. Jesus said to him, Have you come to believe because you have seen me? Blessed are those who have not seen and have believed. Now Jesus did many other signs in the presence of his disciples and are not written in this book. But these are written that you may come to believe that Jesus is the Christ, the Son of God, and that through this belief you may have life in him and in his name. My dear friends, the Gospel of the Lord. Praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ. In the name of the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. Amen. Good evening, Pope. Good evening, Father. Are you aware of the term indicators? Indicators? Alam niyo po sa management, ginagamit po ito. Kunyari, sa mga doktor, meron silang indicators kung nandyan yung sakit. No? They have measurements kung, kung talaga anong klaseng sakit yan. They are objective indicators. They point out to a common uh, reality that is there. Kahit hindi obvious, meron siyang indicator. Kahit sa business, a good business manager, dapat meron ka indicator if your business is doing good. Meron sa book, ang title niya, Balance Scorecard. Meron siyang indicators of a good management. Ano ito yung a good internal system. Uh, people are uh, the, the internal growth of the people. May continuous uh, learning. And then, of course, yung bottom line, financial indicators. No? And then, uh, your clientele. Your clientele are satisfied. Or your clientele is growing. They are growing. You are maintaining that relationship. Those are indicators of a good business. Hindi porke sabihin mong magandang building namin, magandang uniform namin, magandang business, those are not indicators. No? Uh, indicators are really pointing to something that is specifically important. Gusto ko pong gamitin yung concept ng indicator in our Easter celebration. What are the simple indicators that point out that Jesus is in our midst? What are the proof that indeed Jesus is risen. Na totoo ang Diyos sa buhay natin. Una po, first indicator. Tatlo lang po ito. When there is peace in our midst, Jesus brings peace. Therefore, Jesus is not with us when we have no peace. Pwedeng nagsisimba tayo, that, that's not yet an indicator that the Lord is with us. Pwedeng nagsiserve tayo sa simbahan, but if we do not have peace in our life, then I think we are challenged. Jesus is still and indeed in our midst. Napansin niyo po itong mga disciples, the Lord is already risen. Nasaan po sila? Inside the locked doors. 
Nakatago sila out of fear. So, there is no indicator in the midst that they are hiding, they are avoiding, and staying among themselves, and they have no peace. Pag nagkukulong ka, because of fear of others or something, I think the invitation of Pope Francis, kakatawa nga si Pope Francis, sabi niya, go out! <laughs> Lumabas kayo sa simbahan. Don't be locked up. I think, Pope Francis, with this statement, is actually looking into this gospel. Parang sinasabi niyo ni Jesus sa kanila, Go out! Huwag kayong manatili dito sa loob with your locked doors and with your fear overshadowing you. Meet the world and see reality as it is. And I think even for our church, that is an indicator. We do not only remain inside. Let us celebrate and give peace with others. That peace that is alive. Kaya nga, I believe... Easter people are people of peace. Easter people are peaceful people. They are not fearful and they are not locked up. Napasin niyo po yung gospel? May kli lang yung gospel. Very short. Pero tatlong beses sinabi ni Jesus, Peace be with you. Parang obvious na obvious that an indicator of Jesus' presence in our midst is peace. When there is no peace, I think Jesus is not yet there. And then, ikalawa po, second indicator, when we have the capacity to forgive. One wonderful and un- 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 unsaid but noticed reality is forgiveness. Di ba po may sabi itong mga disciples niya, itong leaven? Iniwanan siya nung dala-dala niya yung cross niya itong mga magkakalalaking mga lalaki they abandoned Jesus maybe Jesus could have kept his own uh, his own uh, 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 pain inside him when he was abandoned maybe may counting regrets Jesus no? but the mere fact he mentioned peace be with you three times the mere fact he was there he was already forgiving them He's not only forgiving Thomas who doubted him. I will not believe unless I put my finger into this, the nails, uh, the nail mark in his hand and put my hand on his side. I will not believe. And then again, Jesus returned and said, Come, Thomas, hold me. Touch my wounds. Touch my side. Come. You know, those are signs of indicator. Wag po tayong masyadong madrama. Wag natin sabihin sa taong, Halika nga, I forgive you. <laughs> Wag nila sabihin yun. Wag ka nang mag-text na, I forgive you. Just be there. Just be there. Your presence is enough. Your peace, your wonderful invitation to be with them. The peace that healed the wounds. The wounds of Christ were healed by His own forgiveness. Therefore, Jesus is not with us when there is unforgiveness and conflict. Pwede niyo sabihin, Father, will I forgive kung hindi naman nagpapasorry? Yes. Forgive them, not for their sake, but for your sake. May narinig po ako nung Holy Week, sabi niya, forgive. When you forgive, you liberate a, a, a prisoner. Tapos, sinisip ko, ah, siguro yung may kasalanan. No. Actually, you forgive and you liberate a prisoner and that prisoner actually is you. <laughs> Why? You become a prisoner of their sins. <laughs> liberate yourself. When there is forgiveness and capacity to forgive, I believe Jesus is with us. It is an indicator pag may pagpapatawad sa pamilya. Pag magkukulang and somebody would give that opportunity to start all over again. Jesus is in our midst. Of course, there's that impulse to revenge, the anger and regrets. But the joy of Easter would overcome this bitterness. It heals the wounds of sin, the wounds of division. Easter people are forgiving people. The Spirit enables us to forgive in His name.
Kung minsan, alam niyo po, kung tayo lang, kung tayo, minsan, humanly speaking, ang hirap po magpatawad. But in the name of the Lord Jesus, sabi niya, in my name, forgive. When we say forgiveness, hindi naman yung porke magkasala siya, I forgive you. Sabi ni Jesus, what you declare bound on earth will be bound in heaven. And what you, what you liberate in, on earth will be liberated in heaven. Ang sinasabi niya, of course we forgive, but please, you also have to make people responsible. Hindi naman pwedeng, Father, forgive me for I have seen I took the pencil of my classmate and also the crayons too. <laughs> and then I forgive. No? I forgive you, we pray. What is my penance, Father? Other than our Father, Hail Mary, glory be. I will also usually tell the person, can you return the pencil and the crayons? Then that is fullness of forgiveness. Sometimes they call that restorative justice. No? That healing that gives back what was damaged. Hindi porke forgive, forgive lang tayo. Kung meron po tayong pananagutan, let us be responsible Christians. We do not hide behind the curtain of forgiveness. Even Jesus would make people responsible for their own actions. Indicators of Jesus' presence in our midst, there is peace in our midst, there is forgiveness and capacity to forgive. Lastly, lastly, there is another indicator, which is the celebration of the breaking of the bread. Breaking of the bread is the old term for the Mass. When Jesus took the bread, gave you thanks, and broke the bread. Those are indicators of the Lord in our midst. My Lord and my God. Those are the words of Thomas in our Gospel today. And every Mass when we attend, the priest never magiging kumpleto yung misa. Nasas, hindi niya sasa, hindi kasama sa consecration. He took bread, broke it, and gave thanks, and broke them. I think there is the presence of the Lord when there is breaking of bread in our life. Therefore, as a negative indicator, Jesus is not with us when there is no breaking and sharing of bread. Pag wala pong sharing, pag walang pagbibigay ng sarili, when we are so, <laughs> so attached with what we have, then I think hindi, wala pa si Jesus in our midst. He shared meals with them. He sat down. To sit down with another person, it connotes peace. It also connotes forgiveness. It also connotes sharing. And I believe Easter people break bread and they joyfully share their faith. Yun lang po yung aking homily. I hope we become sensitive in recognizing the presence of Jesus in our midst. Makilala natin sana si Jesus nasa ating piling sa kapayapaan, sa karanasan ng papatawad, at sa karanasan ng pagbabahagi ng ating sarili. May God bless us all, the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. Amen.